You're a long way from Ophir. A long way, and with dangerous fraud. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered, and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate, for one among them is he, a runewright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Found this diagram. Think the markings might be Ophiri. Can't decipher them. Willing to help? This writing I recognize. We arrived in this land to immediate trouble. Local men, frankly rogues. Attacked we were. These are good instructions to forge fantastic gears fit for a king. To the ruler here I was to present them. But assist me. Retrieve the entire set, and I shall draft duplicates marked in the tongue of your craftsmen. Sounds like a fair deal. I think I can probably find those diagrams for you. These bandits, they knights seemed. They blow even harder. Where did it happen, this attack? At the crossroads. A sawmill near to it. And the ruins of a residence to the north, I believe. See what I can do. Farewell. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Shut up! Shut up! Ooh. Shut Take up! Take your mount to her limits! Give me up. Ah. Miss Swift! I would see you at full speed. I think it's the first time something interactive like that happened during a race.
Fury mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. Our contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. The race ended with Roach having just a sliver of stamina. One mistake and they would have lost the race. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? In the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell.